Hello, welcome to Jim Shave. welcome to the channel. Uh, I was just having a rummage through uh, my soap cupboard and I came across this little bag, True Fits and Hill. I forgot I had them, I've had them a long time. What they are, the samples, uh, balms, soaps, creams, uh, a couple of aftershave samples in there. So, let's, let's uh, use them, I thought, because I'm sitting there doing nothing. So, uh, I just put my hand in, a lucky dip, got the lucky bag. And I pulled out this sample here. It's True Fit and Hill Ultimate Comfort. <laughs> it's not going to have a nice scent because it's scentless basically. It's uh, glycerin based, uh, essential lavender oil, kind to the skin, helps to repair the skin, whatever. But scent wise, it's, it's a non starter. But that's what I pulled out of the bag. That's what I'm going to use. So I've just squirted it into my uh, Seth Baxter Super Duper Side Bowl there. It's got a nice shiny sheen on the cream. And shake this brush out. I'm using my uh, Parker Bushes Crawl Mandled Badger. Can't remember if it's Super Badger, Fine Badger, but it's Badger. So. But it, you can smell the lavender, but it's it's like granny lavender, you know, like the uh, lavender tea bags that granny used to put in the cupboard to keep the clover smelling nice. That's the lavender I'm getting, so it's like dried lavender petals. Taking a little bit of water. There we have it, no time at all. Easy lava, nice cream. In fact, I might get a little bit more water in there. Just dip the tips. Oops. That's why I like these big bowls. Because I'm prone to getting a lava explosion. So, that's the cream done. Just got some on the fingers there, rub that in. So I'm using it as a pre-shave as well. And he gets it everywhere. So it's a lot of rub and I'll show you the razor. Yeah, just definitely got a little cut on my cheek there. Not a shaving related cut. Yeah, Jim, of course it isn't. No, it's not, honestly. <laughs> Would I lie? Would I lie to you? True Fit Nil is a luxury brand. It's got the Royal Seal of Approval. And old Queen Victoria was a great fan. They were perfumers for Queen Victoria. So it's a posh company, very posh. Okay, that'll do for that. Nothing good. Oops, left me strop in the bathroom. It's not a good place to leave your strop. Condensation, moisture, you'll knack it. So I'll have to remember to uh, remove that. Okay, the razor for today. A razorini. My birthday present. Made of brass, chrome plated. This is the Prem version. I think it's 50, 50 grams in weight and 13 centimeters long. And in here, I have Wilkinson Sword Indian. Did I review a little while ago? He says, uh, Why don't you try a feather blade and a razorini? No. <laughs> so, you're prone to catching yourself on the cheekbones with this, I find. So, just lay it flat. Go in very light. Got two days growth, so I've got something good to work on. I find the Wilkinson sword of blade works well. On the Razorini.
go very light. Some people think believe that the uh, razorine is a gimmick. They think it's like a DE on a lollipop stick. Well, it's not. Lots of air around the chin there. It's a very efficient shaver indeed. I suppose it's a cross where DE meets Chevette. But it's a lot better than a Chevette. Much safer and uh, quite enjoyable to use. I've been using one for a while now, but uh, you have to think about every little stroke because this thing isn't a toy. It's a very serious shaver. Now then, do I go left-handed, do I go right-handed? I don't know. Let's try right-handed first. Just want to take the razor in up to the top there. I can't see. Excellent glide on the soap, on the green. Yeah, I believe it's about £17 a tub, two foot in the hill. So today, it's Sunday, day off. Not much of a day off. I finished work at about half past ten last night. I'm back in about 5 a.m. in the morning, so not much of a weekend at all, really. But here in England, all forms of entertainment are closed anyway. Pubs, bars, restaurants. So, it's a waste of time. Having too much time off work, really. I'll just be sitting here on my Todd, getting drunk. So, just a quiet evening in front of the TV. Just gonna wet the face, see us. Yeah, lovely slickness. Excellent first pass. Not a lot left at all. Come on, it was two, three days growth I had. But uh, it was fairly heavy growth. I think I'll have to uh, invest in a tub. Of true fitting ill. It's probably. Same line as uh, Tobs, etc. Yeah, it's fresh, mild, dried lavender, lavender scent. Fresh and dried, does that even go together? <laughs> Oops, a daisy. I went down the wrong way. Fresh, dried lavender scent, yeah, really? A nice, clean lavender scent. <laughs> Okay, go for the crosses. Remember, keep the knob facing outwards. If you ever get a chance to uh, borrow one of these, go for it.
concurrency. Pretty soon. Want one yourself? It's an excellent blade feel. And you do have to be, there's a little knack to it, but it's, it's part of the enjoyment, isn't it? Come get me handed here. Where are you going? <laughs> you, you have to think about every stroke. No, but in the way, and slight weepers on the chin there. Don't worry about weepers. I can't, I get too many. And as for shaving the neck, this razor really, it was made for it, made for it. Right, good. second pass. That's virtually everything off. Go for the third. Your ball brush handles do it all. <laughs> Very nice. Hi. Right. Oh, tea tree witch hazel. There was a viewer commented last week. I only use it. Well, I explained. I do, but <laughs> queues at the chemists, whatever. You. I just can't be bothered queuing for it. But uh, just happened to be walking past the chemist who with eight boots, and uh, it was empty. So happy days. Oops, slipping on my hand there. Super slick glycerin soap. I was using a DAB riding the caps into the cheek here. Like most people, that's probably one of the toughest places to get to. Well, not get through, but knock down some stubborn hairs. As Razorini sings here, you know, when it's stubble left. And those cheeks are done. So it's blade protrusion. I 
I don't go against the grain. On the goatee. But this is such a good shape, eh? That you don't need to. As you can hear. No bristle sound. That's a tricky wrap. My, my moustache grows right up to the nostrils. That's where I really have to be careful with scrape razors and chivettes under the nostrils there because uh, when I first started I'd nearly slice the top of my bloody uh, lip off. <laughs> Then you do cut yourself with one of these, you sure don't know about it because you do feel it. <laughs> Super, excellent shave. It'll just rinse off on the big top. Sorry about the noise. It's called not more water. Water? Water. Quick alarm test. Nice burn on the cheeks. Not a great burn, but oh, a lot more on the chin there. Hardly any sting on the moustache area. Yeah? And for little bit on the neck but it's just normal sting happy days ah the towel off feel for the poche feel as you know i don't use bombs anymore box the paws quarters acne Now that feels what a shave. That is a top class shave. Razorini. BBS. Soap's left left a nice feel to the skin. Skin feels nourished, smooth and fresh. Okay for afters. Don't until bedtime. <laughs> Which hazel and tea tree? smell soon disappears. I don't mind the smell actually. It uh, doesn't linger very long. You can always put some splash on top. And there we have it. Successful shave. Now I'll just reset my Bluetooth trigger here. While I recap. Oh, he specs are steaming up. Right, got the right one. <laughs> Soap is a sample uh, cream, true fit and all ultimate comfort. Marketed as, as having no scent, but there is a slight dried lavender scent, which is quite pleasing. So that was the soap for today. Brush was the Parker Razors Chrome Handled Badger. That was whipped up in the Seth Baxter. Uh, super duper sized shaving mug. Mixing bone rubber. The blade was the Gillette Indian first use. And the razor was the Razorini Prem in chrome. Super shaver. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Uh, stay safe. Enjoy what's left of the weekend. There's not much there left, I know, but enjoy what's left of the weekend. I'll see you further down the line, guys. Bye bye now. Stay safe.